Hi, this is Kevin C. Mason from Jack Monkey Games, and this is a story about telling stories. Now, before we get started, let me let you know that my interpersonal skills have improved quite a bit since this time, and I probably would have handled it completely... Okay, I would have handled it completely different knowing what I know now. So, before you start thinking, God, Kevin was an ass. You're right, I was. Now, if you like this sort of thing, because it is a little bit different from the normal roll versus roll videos, click thumbs up, subscribe, send me an email, leave comments, share it with a friend. The more people that watch this, the more I'm going to do more of these. So, imagine, if you will, a room with bad carpet, bookshelves filled with all kinds of science fiction and fantasy novels, games that have been played so much that the boxes were all falling apart and flapping open. The posters on the wall seem to be a, a battle between Marvel and DC. And the table where we had just recently eaten a frozen pizza that was now too hot and, and torched on the sides was now covered in character sheets half drawn, half photocopied, which annoyed the GM because in order to get the photocopy you had to break the spine on the book. Miniatures that didn't quite fit our characters. In fact, the elf was portrayed by a dwarf because the only elven miniature we had was female and Eric would have not had anything to do with that. So we were playing, I believe it was D&D 2nd Edition. Um, I do remember that if you kind of get the timeline, I was still running D or I was still running Shawrun 1st Edition, so if that kind of gives you the timeline. The party consisted of myself, the fighter, who was... Uh, I kind of sucked because, well, I was fourth level. We had our elven ranger, who was portrayed by the dwarven manager, um, who was also fairly sucky because he was only fourth level. And then there's Jerry. Um, now, notice how I kind of have a little bit of disdain even today about Jerry. Jerry was the GM's roommate, and really annoying. Jerry was that type of gamer who always complained about everything. And Jerry was that guy who's the, the worst kind of rules lawyers. He would argue the rules to make sure it goes in his favor, but would be strangely quiet when it wasn't. Jerry's favorite technique was to throw a fit when he didn't get his way. And often would miss a game or two because he was still angry. We called him the once in every other gamer. Now, to make things worse, Jerry also wasn't a very good role player. It was Jerry with a sword, Jerry with magic, Jerry with a bazooka, Jerry who could cast spells, Jerry who could stab people in the back, but it was always Jerry. In this particular case, Jerry had thrown a big enough fit that the GM allowed him to multi-class, which was still kind of a new thing back then. And somehow, and I don't think this is how the rules worked, but you know, the GM proved it, that's okay by me. He was actually multi-classed three times. He was a thief, mage, cleric. I don't know, I don't know, the GM approved it, that's all that matters. And he sucked at all of them. We would go through these adventures, and he wasn't good at sneaking. He wasn't good at disarming traps. He wasn't good at casting spells. And he really wasn't good at healing my ass when I bailed him out from nothing. Well, like most dungeon crawls, which is... In fact, I think this was even before I discovered you can actually have a D&D adventure above ground. We, we had gone through the equipment list and purchased almost one of everything because encumbrance, what's that? We ended up going to the livestock section. 
And I got a brilliant idea. Because I was getting tired of Jerry. And I had purchased a chicken. That's right, a chicken. And during this time, everyone's wondering, um, what's with the chicken? Um, Kev, why did you get a chicken? And I'm like, it's Jerry's replacement. Now, this, of course, infuriated Jerry because he's always angry. Jerry has issues. And Jerry, instead of going and laughing it off, immediately started to try to prove that he was better than the chicken. He comes up and says, well, the chicken can't disarm traps. And I said, oh, of course you can. You take the chicken, throw it down the hallway, and it will set off the traps. Okay. Well, well, um, you can fireball. Chicken plus torch throw. Detect evil. Hand them the chicken, and if they sacrifice it to the dark god, they're evil. Um, um, cure disease. Chicken soup. Usable only once. Now, at this point, Jerry was all kinds of flustered. But the GM decided it was time for us to game. So we went through our typical typical group and we were going through the tunnels and we were fighting this this skeleton here and this cobalt there and we were doing pretty well. And then it came time to this long hallway. And the GM said seems suspicious. And Jerry said, okay, here I go. And knowing what was gonna happen, I stopped, said, Jerry, wait. It's now time to prove you're worth chicken. Picked up the chicken and threw it down the hallway. The GM, rolling with this, picked up the dice and rolled. Guess what he rolled? He critted. Right there in front of me, there's that big old 20. The chicken had gone through and gracefully triggered every single trap, but because the traps were all designed for something about human size, the chicken was completely unharmed. Jerry was starting to steam. From there, we ran into another situation where we were fighting this horrible, horrible orc. It was the first time we had encountered something that lived with this big. Everything else had been skeletons and, and kobolds and occasional goblin. But this thing was kicking our ass. And so here we are, we're fighting this orc on the, along the side of this long cliff, or this chasm. And Jerry was just getting his ass handed to him. I was getting my ass handed to him, and I was, I, I was the tank. And the GM decides the chicken is now going to take matters into its own hands and starts the battle. He rolls the dice and gets a 20. That's right, another crit. The chicken is now two for two. The chicken at that point had flown up, flapped into the orc's face, and gouged out its eyes where it fell off the cliff. The chicken at that point now had its own character sheet. At that point, the party consisted of a fifth level fighter, a fifth little ranger, a newly created fourth level, I think it was just a mage by Jerry, and a second level battle block.